hello guys so now we shall be discussing regarding the male genital organs okay so we shall be discussing mainly regarding the male genitalia or the male genital organs male genital organs now regarding this male genital organs important thing you need to know is that these male genital organs are basically divided into two groups so what are these two groups so one group you call it as the external genital organs and the other one is called as the internal genital organs okay we have got the external genital organs and we have got the internal genital organs so how many groups you have got we have got two groups so one is called as the external genital organs and the other one is called as your internal genital organs okay so what about these external and internal genital organs for example when it comes to external genital organs there are two important things one is called as penis another one is called as scrotum so these two form the external genital organs so one is called as the penis and the second one you call it as a scrotum these two form the external genital organs now when it comes to the internal genital organs what are the structures so one you call it as a testis testis is not external testis is internal attached to the testis on the back we have got epididymis right epididymis and third important thing you have got is the vas difference you have got the vas difference which is a continuation of the epididymis right so vas difference so after the vas difference next you have got the prostate as well as the seminal vesicle you have got the prostate gland and the seminal vesicle seminal vesicle and final important thing you have got is the bulbo urethral glands bulbo urethral glands so as i have already told you that the male genitalia are mainly divided into two parts one is called as the external genital organs and internal genital organs right external genital organs include your penis as well as the scrotum and internal genital organs are testis epididymis vas deferens prostate and seminal vesicles and bulbo urethral glands okay now when it comes to penis right first of all let us what we do is that we will discuss in detail about each and everything but uh, few important points on physiology we shall write about each and everything okay for example if you are talking about penis so what are the important points that you can tell about penis what is a penis penis is the only common outlet for both passage of sperms at the same time passage of urine that is a common outlet and next penis is an organ that is responsible for copulation okay so that is the penis is the organ that is responsible for copulation copulation and this is the organ that is common passage common passage for what common passage of semen and urine common passage for semen as well as urine next when it comes to the next important organ that is scrotum all of you know penis and scrotum are external genitalia right scrotum now when it comes to the scrotum all of you know scrotum is a sac within the scrotum what is present within the scrotum you have got the testis okay now within the testis itself the sperm production will start which is called as spermatogenesis now if the sperm's production have to start right or if the spermatogenesis has to properly take place you need to provide the testis with some optimal favorable temperature now if you want to provide the testis with some optimal favorable temperature you have to cover the testis with some blanket so the blanket like thing which you are covering the testis which is providing a proper uh, temperature for the testis for the function of spermatogenesis that is called as your scrotum so scrotum will maintain the temperature of the testis for spermatogenesis so what is the function of scrotum scrotum function is maintenance of testicular temperature testicular temperature for 
proper spermatogenesis for proper spermatogenesis and after that the next important thing we shall look at here is that testis right now when it comes to testis what is testis over here testis is responsible for the production of what sperms as well as the male hormones right so testis is responsible for the production of sperms as well as the male hormones next next important thing is epididymis next important thing is epididymis now what is this epididymis over here epididymis is does not is not producing any kind of sperms but this is a reservoir of sperms and sperms get mature within the epididymis so it is a reservoir and responsible for the maturation of the sperms so the reservoir and maturation of the sperms occur here maturation of sperms they occur here the next important thing is vas difference so vas difference has not got much any uh, that important here but important thing you need to know regarding vas difference is it is responsible for the transportation of the sperms it is responsible for the transportation of sperms right next we have got the prostate as well as the seminal vesicles prostate and seminal vesicles so what is this prostate as well as seminal vesicles what do they do obviously all of you know the prostate and the seminal vesicles they start releasing some lubricants or they also start uh, producing some secretions and what these secretions will do is that these secretions will continuously nourish the sperms okay so here there is production of secretions that nourish the sperm which also means nutrition that provide nutrition to sperms so this is the function of the prostate all the as the seminal vesicles right and next important thing is the last important part which we have is your bulbourethral glands right so what about this bulbourethral glands bulbo urethral glands what does this bulbourethral glands do these bulbourethral glands they will release some oily secretions and what is the use of these oily secretions that is responsible for the easy lubrication of the penis or the urethra so when there is easy lubrication of the urethra it would be easy during copulation to penetrate the penis into the vagina okay so it produces oily secretions for lubrication of urethra for lubrication of urethra it produces the oily secretions that is responsible for the lubrication of the urethra so let us see one by one what are the things we have just discussed here guys okay and when it comes to penis penis is responsible for the copulation and it is also the common passage for both semen as well as the urine when it comes to the scrotum scrotum is responsible for the maintenance of testicular temperature okay testicular temperature and why do we need this testicular temperature for spermatogenesis when it comes to the testis all of you know testis is responsible for the production of sperms as well as the male hormones okay epididymis epididymis is responsible for the reservoir as well as the maturation of the sperms okay vas deferens only one function that is transportation prostate and seminal vesicles they release some secretions which nourish the sperms i mean which give nutrition to the sperms and bulbourethral glands for the lubrication of the urethra okay right so these are all the important things which you need to know regarding just the introductory part of the male genital organ so thank you so much for watching my video goodbye